Center for my OCD, but that's okay. We're not going to talk about it. Welcome to Fret Night. My name's Rob. My name's Colton. And this is yes. a recap of the High Gain series. <laughs> yeah, you can call it that. So we're doing a little interlude video here for you. Uh, you should be getting this on the weekend. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to give you kind of a quick rundown, just a couple minutes on every guitar of the first five we reviewed. And as our motto says, mm -hmm. if it sucks, we will tell you if it sucks. Yep. Although, I will say this. It's kind of cheesy, but it's the truth. Um, if these guitars suck at this price point, I'm probably taking a plane somewhere. <laughs> anyway. All right. So the first guitar that we reviewed out of this 10 guitar series was the Hapas. You want to grab her? Yeah. And check it out. I'm sporting the shirt. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> this, if you don't know who these people are, if you <clears throat> took the time to go back and watch the videos, this is a company called Hapus. They're out of Berlin, Germany. It's a couple guys. Uh, super, super cool guys. Uh, they build an amazing guitar. Um, craftsmanship, man, just, I, mean, I could just go on and on about this guitar. Yeah. It's a single piece of Swamp Ash. Uh, we're going to let you hear some of it in the mix in just a second. Um... What do you think about the Hapis, man? Um, this was the first one I'm, that I put my hands on, yeah, right? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Out of the deal. I like it a lot. This was this was like the winner of like <laughs> everything that we got in before we started doing anything. I always found myself going to this one before you know we got the more the the more the more guitars. <laughs> well, more guitars just gives you more selection. And, yeah. and every one of these guitars, real quick, like we're going to cut to the mix. But every one of these guitars are just creative heaven to mm -hmm. me because i can pick up any one of them and they just spark creativity you know yeah. each one of them is different mm -hmm. and they just spark creativity I, I think a lot of it too is that i'm just partial to green it's yeah, it's one of my the, favorite colors it's the so far it's the only green one that so we've far. got in the bunch mm -hmm. so we'll see about that okay so that is guitar one uh we're gonna put a link in the description um just go check out hapas h-a-p-a-s they're out of berlin germany these guys make amazing guitars. If you don't want heavy metal, I mean, if you're not looking for heavy metal, you probably don't need to call them because everything they make is is very uh, that, very deep and dark. That fretboard. And that's that rich light. Yeah. It's so good stuff. if you want to hear anything more about this guitar, we have a complete review on the channel. Mm -hmm. uh, just go back to the Happus review. You get to hear the full mix. We're just going to let you hear a few seconds of it right now so you can hear the tone of the guitar. And then... We'll be right back. Yeah. But first off, we're going to shut up and let you hear it in the mix. Okay, we're back. So we're going to let you see... Guitar number two of the series, which happened to be from a little old company in the Slovakia, Austria type region. And we just got stupid lucky on this. We got lucky on all of our guitars. Um, this guitar was actually being made for the owner of the company from Ashwood Guitars. Mm -hmm. And um, me being me, and with Colton prodding me <laughs> in the side, um, we convinced them to build it for us. Um, they had some concept of how it was going to be spec, but we spec this one out. Um, this is just, there's no way to rate these, but this is just freaking amazing seven string. Um, tone, playability, yeah. construction. It's amazing. It's just unbelievably well put together. Mm-hmm. If you if you don't have a seven string yet and you're on the fence and you want to spend a little bit more money for one, consider you know consider Ashwood. Yeah, they just amazing. We've already been back in touch with these people about getting a second guitar. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I mean, the construction on this and uh, we we we're, we're doing everything custom guitars here. So all of these guitars have to have a certain quality to them uh, at these price points. Um, just to go back real quick, our Hapus was about $2,800 to get from Germany to the U.S. 
Um, this guitar was probably around 3500 3700 to get from um, Austria, Slovakia area to the U.S. And I'm trying to give you kind of like a total price point, paying everybody in the world to get it here. Um, just amazing guitar. What do you think about the playability of that one, man? It's, um, this is butter. <laughs> <laughs> we have too much butter. I feel like we just have a lot of butter. Yeah. But, uh, um, margin or whatever. Margarine, uh, so the, all the appointments on this, if you don't know anything about this guitar, I'm going to shut up in a second and let you hear it in the mix. Um, but you could go back to the episode two. This was the second one we reviewed. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't know who these people are, you're missing out. Yeah. That's on every one of these builders. We tried to find some that are not as big mainstream, um, not to sacrifice quality price or nothing, but to bring it to your attention mm -hmm. that there is just amazing builders around the planet, man. And they just haven't, you know... They, they don't have enough notoriety yet, and, you know, sometimes the bigger companies overshadow you. A little bit. That happens sometimes. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Going to shut up, let you hear some of it in the mix, and we're going to move on to Guitar 3. we're going to move on to our third episode and once again if you don't know who this person is or this company is man have you missed the boat uh this is a little old guitar maker from texas <laughs> uh this is reichardt guitars once again just called him with some ideas had no clue what he was going to do Man, this guy is amazing. Um, I really wished, I don't know if you make, they make a camera high dollar enough to show you what this really looks like, um, but it, the fit and finish on this, the playability, the tone, uh, it just the woods, it's just amazing. Yeah. It's just got this real good, just ruby looking fire red to it. Just an amazing guitar. Mm -hmm. um, once again, a great experience with this guy. Um, I, we really just called him and threw out three or four ideas and said, can you make some? And he was like, yep, I'm on it. Mm. And got it made while he had all, all kinds of other stuff going on around his place and just did amazing job. Every one of these guitars we're going to show you, they most all of these ship in uh, Gator cases, hybrid cases, um, the, <clears throat> one of the guitars actually comes in its own, you know, its own build case, and this one comes in a special case, you know, labeled as Reichardt Guitars, a hard shell case. Amazing. If you want to know anything more about this, check the links in the description. Go back to episode three, watch this video. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to we get in-depth on it. So right now we're going to shut up, and we're going to let you hear some of it in the mix, and then we'll be right back to number four. Okay, you got to hear some of it in the mix. Again, freaking amazing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's a good one. I like it. It just, uh, there's there's so much creativity built into that guitar. When mm -hmm. you touch it, it just... Ah. Yeah, I think, like I mentioned uh, the first time we reviewed it, is it, it just demands respect. It does. As soon as, you, as soon as you put your hands on it, you know what it wants to do, what it's about. Yep. And it's going to take you there. Yeah, it, so we're going to move on to guitar number four, and that was our last episode in this series that we did, or the next to the last episode, I'm wrong. And once again, if you don't know who this builder is, man, you're missing the boat. It's going down the creek. You're standing on the side. <laughs> you're just not there yet. This is um, from a company, a gentleman named Lacello Guitars, and they're out of Canada. 
called him kind of last minute, man, trying to get enough guitars for this series. Dude, this guy does such good work. And he was so fast about it. Don't call him and tell him I said that. <laughs> Don't put that on me. You got to figure it out with him. Amazing work. Amazing woods. You just can't say enough good about this guy. Extremely light guitar, even yeah. though all that's mahogany. Um, every curve, every bend, just perfect. N neck, frets, pickups. That little the insignia. logo. Mm -hmm. I love that logo. Yeah, it's that's nice. that's it's my nice favorite. Touch. It's my favorite logo. Um, if you don't know nothing about this guy, man. Probably going to have to catch him on Facebook. He does have an IG. You can Maybe his IG is taken off a little bit more. Uh, he's built a lot of guitars. There's a lot of people playing these guitars, but you know we're, we are in America. And so to me, he was a, a complete unknown. But I promise you, in his neck of the woods, they all know who he is. Yeah. What do you think about that one when you play it, man? Um, I, again, it's, it's light. It's a lot lighter than I was expecting it to be. And I, because of that, it just, it feels like a, just feels like it flows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Real easy. Um, so he's got a lot of cutaways on the back to kind of get rid of some weight and mm -hmm. to get form and function. That neck, I mean that that neck joint is just yeah. amazing. Super smooth. How he puts that together, um, and he does all kinds of stuff. Um, once again, we kind of caught him with you know his pants down on this one. We kind of caught him when he was building this one for himself. So we got lucky there. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna shut up. And we're going to let you hear some of it in the mix, and then we're going to go on to the fifth guitar. And we're back. All right, you got to hear some of it in the mix. Amazing guitar, episode four. Make sure you check it out. Um, just amazing work. Now on to, if you've been following the channel, if you're subscribed, you'll know this next guitar. We just put a review out on it a couple days ago, which would have been Thursday. Um, this is the baby from Poland. This is the Maunis. Um, we did a little something different on this one. I'm not going to go back through the whole story, but this one's a baritone, and it's mm -hmm. a 27 inch. So we didn't want to just get 10, 25, 5, 6 strings. Right. You know what I mean? We want to do a little something different. Um, cannot say enough about how this is constructed, how it plays, quality control, tone, equipment. The list just goes on and on and on. Um, it is in the upper price point of the ones we've shown you so far, but there are a couple more in that price point that are just within a couple of hundred dollars or so of them. So um, it's not far reaching. And once again, if you want to know 100% about this guitar, how we feel, everything about it, man, you can just go back to the last episode. I think it's episode five. And uh, yeah, you can get the full in-depth review on this. Yep. What do you think about the Beast? Um, I really like it. It's I, you know, I like all the guitars that we have, but I, this one I noticed in particular. It just you know, I don't know if it's because it's a baritone or or you know the strings, whatever. But it has just such a distinguished growl. Like when you're palm muting, it you still hear each individual note. It seems like, and they just each of them ring true. Oh, well, it's know? got freaking sixty sixes on it. Yeah. So it's uh, that probably has something to do with it. But oh, yeah. yeah, the the pickups are designed, and I'm not going to go into all of this because I don't know all the stuff they kind of weigh out when they do stuff. But I guarantee you, those pickups are designed to articulate <clears throat> each one of those strings because I've heard guitars with bigger strings on them, and it's kind of mushy. Yeah, it's a little muddy this, sometimes. This is not. Yeah, not the case. Not at all. Mm -hmm. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to shut up, and we're going to let you hear some of it in the mix. And then we're going to come back and we're going to give you a sneak peek of things to come. Yep. Imagine that. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, we're back. Uh, you got to hear a little bit of it in the mix. This is number five. Yep. So this will be the first five. We're going to do five more, but because we're on the internet and because we can, we're not going to show you the next five all at one time. <laughs> we're going to show you a few of them. Maybe to kind of get, your, um, get you thinking about what we're doing next. We've had comments on different guitars, and there's been a couple people commenting on one specific guitar. We'll get to that in a minute. What we want to do now is we want to show you what will be on episode six. And this is our friends, another set of friends in Poland. This is a Skrvason. Um, amazing guitar. We're not going to talk about it. I'm not going to tell you a lot about it because you've got to watch episode six to find that mm -hmm. out. Yeah. But if you don't know who these people are, A, you've been living under a rock. B, you ain't got no internet. <laughs> C, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah. amazing work just amazing guitars uh, go to their page try to get a link to everybody's on this on the description in here make sure you check these guys out all of these builders build super high end high quality a little bit difference in price points but all the quality on these is way above what you would expect to pay for what you're paying for these guitars and each one of them is a little bit different yeah just a little bit and you know, that's what sets them apart Okay, so grab, uh, grab that PRS. Now, we're going to take a lot of flack about this. <clears throat> we picked up a $400 PRS at the junkyard. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to take a lot of flack on this because this is not from a true custom builder. Um, but this is something you're going to want to see the review on and for a ton of different reasons. This is, if I can say it all in one breath, this is a custom 24 tin top from the Wood Library PRS. I believe this guitar was made in 17 or 18 when they did this particular pattern. And they don't do it anymore. You can't get it anymore. I mean, you might get find it used. This is pretty much, um, it's probably been played six times in that time frame and it's been in a case and been put up. Um, Turn around, let me see about it. I'm not going to begin to tell you all the stuff that's on this guitar, but it will be a very long list. Um, it is not from a true custom builder because I did not, I was not able to custom build it, but it is the upper echelon of what you buy mm -hmm. when you want a super high end guitar. Yep. What do you think about it? Um, it's uh you would just have to see it in person and put your hands on it you really do it's 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 a work of art <laughs> it's 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 a it's, work of art it's solid um and it plays it plays really well oh yeah it's uh it's one of those guitars and it's easy to say this because they don't have really any uh you know beginner guitars or whatever in this collection all we have is these but it's like that guitar plays itself mm-hmm it just really does. You don't even have to touch yeah, it. I mean, it's, it just, pretty, it's, it's amazing what it does. All right, get number eight. And that's as far as we're going to take you tonight. We're going to show you the three more, but the other two are a surprise. You will not get to see them until we get closer to eight. This, you got to know who these people are. These are some of our friends down in Australia. It's a little old company named Ormsby. Um, once again, all of these guitars, if you rated them all, they would probably be at 4.7 to 4.99 on a scale of five. Um, these guys do some things a lot different. Yeah. These other builders are going to give you choice of pickups, choice of bridges, blah, 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 blah. You can pick from anything. Ormsby builds their own equipment. Those are Ormsby pickups, Ormsby bridge, Ormsby tuners, and man, is that thing amazing. Mm -hmm. um, we got lucky. We got the multi-scale, the seven on this one. Yep. Um, not going to tell you too much. Those are 46s on a freaking seven string. That's a 46. So this is a completely different tone, man. Uh, yeah. When you're playing a seven and you're up in the 50, high 50s, low 60s, mid 60s, low 70s on a seven string, 
and you switch out and you pick up something with 46s on it, mm -hmm. you're like, what the crap? Yeah. <laughs> uh, tone differenti differentiation is completely different to um, a completely exact same song, same patch, same everything on a regular seven string mm -hmm. with big strings and you play it on this. It's just got more of a gent oh, yeah. bite. Oh, yeah. You know, because it's just a difference in those strings. So mm -hmm. you played that one and you have leaned towards that one quite a bit. I don't want your thoughts on it, but just tell them something about it. Don't give it away. Um, well, as a little taste, you know, a preview of, of just what I think about it, it's, it was my first time playing on a multi scale, and it's different. If, if you've never played on one before, I would suggest um, you know going to Guitar Center or someplace you know where you might know if they have a multi scale and you know go a little practice on it. But we'll you know we'll save the rest of that for the video. Right? Um, it is different, but oh, did they do it good? Yeah, didn't they? it's nice. All right, so put that one back. Let's come back and do it. To finish up on this, and we'll get out of these people's hair because God knows YouTube allows us to waste enough of these people's time. Now we have two more guitars. We're not going to show you yet. We're going to keep them to ourselves because I can't give everything away. Why would you have a reason to come back? Right. <laughs> first, first episode, the Happus, Germany. God, you got to figure out who those guys are. Amazing. Yeah. Art. Second episode, Ashwood. Um, I told you guys originally Austria. I think they're really on the Austria-Slovakian border. It don't matter. They're a long ways from us. Yeah, I like the Ashwood. Amazing work. Um, attention to detail, and just all of these builders, just overall great mm -hmm. people. We talk to them all the time. I sit here and message with them all the time, and I, I ain't bought none from them in months. And they're still just, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Third guitar, Reichart. You don't know nothing about that American builder. You're missing out, man. Yep. You're Check out. really missing out. Uh, I think he was at the, like, the, the Dallas Guitar Show this past weekend. Oh, yeah. Man, he took three or four or five guitars over there, and I messaged him. I'm like, what the hell? How come I didn't see that one? <laughs> Great stuff. Yeah. Um, our our fourth was Lacello out of Canada. Man, that dude just knocks stuff. I said it last time on the video. I'm not going to say he knocks it out of the park. I'm not going to say that. Because I used it twice in that video, and that's a faux, faux pas. You don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> just telling you, man, check out Lacello. Yeah. Go find him on Facebook. I was scrolling through Facebook on a Sunday night. Nothing else to do. And I ran across a guitar, and I'm like, well, who the hell builds that? Yeah. Pulled it up. Bam, there he is. Just push the button on there. Call. He's like, who's this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, don't worry about it. I need to buy a guitar. Yep. And then uh, number five was our uh, baritone baby. Yeah. The Mayones. Mm-hmm. Man, if you've never put your hands on a mayonnaise, I don't care what model it is. I don't care how many strings it's got. You're going to come out of pocket a little bit more. Yep. But if you ever put your hands on one, you'll know why a ton, a ton of touring musicians use those guitars. Mm -hmm. um, Pretty good. Everything is meticulous on it. Okay. We've cheated. We showed you a few extras. Yep. We're cheating by even giving you a video. Without a review, because we're a review channel. <laughs> I know. We're trying to get some extra content out there. Mm -hmm. uh, we had some other st stuff lined up for you to watch tonight that have probably been more entertaining, but it fell through. So you're stuck with us. Yeah. So until next time, like the channel, subscribe, watch the stinking videos, <laughs> tell your buddies, tell your enemies. Go get your sister out of the other room, drag her in front of the computer and say, hey, sign into your account, watch this. I don't care what you got to do. Get some people to watch the video. Yeah. Um, we don't get paid nothing. Ain't nobody sponsoring us. Nope. Um, nothing. Just doing it for fun. But we're trying to give you a little bit more insight into these builders, Get the, bridge that gap between just taking a pocket full of money and sending it somewhere and hoping and praying it comes back right. Yeah. Gives you a little bit of you know, reassurance that you will get something in return. <laughs> Before we let you go, also, we are going to be doing giveaways. We are not a hundred percent sure <clears throat> as to what that will be, but we're going to be doing giveaways. This is a guitar channel. Yep. We ain't giving you no bunny rabbits. 
We ain't giving you no cereal boxes. If they want a bunny rabbit. <laughs> we do guitar and a little bit of gear. So as this channel grows, and I'm not talking about three years from now, because I trust you guys. Do what I said. Like, subscribe, share. Yeah, you'll do it. We're going to put some stuff out there, man. And I said it in one of the other videos. Wouldn't it be nice to get a package from Fred Knight? Yeah. Free guitar? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't that be cool? It'd be kind of cool. So, we're doing our job, and that's just to keep you informed, maybe make you laugh, or make you hate us, one or the other. It yeah, is what it is. It's going to be one or the other. Yeah, you, you can't you can't please everybody. So, with all that being said, like our channel, share our content, please subscribe, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm. Until then, stay tuned.